All right, hello everybody, and welcome back to the. Uh, well, actually, no, 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 no. Well, okay, I guess I could say welcome back to the channel. Um, but uh, welcome to a new series here on the channel, which is the ESPN NFL 2K5. Uh, well, franchise. Um, sorry about that. I was reading Twitter notifications. I really shouldn't do that while recording. I'm sorry. But, uh, so basically, the difference between this franchise and the old Cowboys franchise I did a while back on the channel is that, uh, this is going to be played on the hardest difficulty, barring some setting changes. And, um... I'm going to be using the Colts, because the Colts are my favorite team. But uh, don't get it wrong, or don't get me wrong, right? Even though they're my favorite team, and they were pretty good at this point in time, um, this team in-game is not overly good. And I can promise you that. And I will run into cap issues about year two or three. So I'm going to have to really work on um, making sure that I don't, like, overdo the team because salary cap is an issue with this when you've got a team with high ratings uh, I had a uh, I was doing a like a sim franchise on here um, a while playing games one night with my friends and uh, I made like I think I made the Super Bowl two out of three times that I uh, simmed in the first three seasons but about year three, the team started to fall apart. And in year four, I'm pretty sure I had to completely overhaul the roster. Because you just run out of money and I wasn't prepared for it. Because you also have to sign draft picks. And the game just doesn't automatically take it away from like your rookie reserve money. Like it does in Madden. And this, all the money's the same. Which is how it should be. And it's technically that way in Madden. But... At least in Madden, it deducts that from what you can sign people for as well. So you're at least prepared for it and you can't go over and then not be able to sign people. In this, you're just left to hope that what or the picks that you've got aren't going to be, you know, horrible for you. If that makes sense. Plus, drafting in this game is a lot harder, so I don't think I even did a draft. Well, no, I, I did the offseason, I think, for the Cowboys franchise. But that, that franchise wasn't very fun because basically the way that this works is like there's, I think there's rookie difficulty, which is just really easy. There's pro difficulty, which is, it, it's easy, but you're not going to get away with everything. Then I think there's all pro difficulty where it's not, it's, it's definitely not easy, but it's just not hard. And then there's Legendary Difficulty, which I've played a couple of games on today, and it's it's difficult. It's very difficult, and I'll show you the sliders I'm rocking in a minute. But uh, hopefully this series should stick for a while. But um, So we've got Weekly Preparation. We've, here are the settings. So this is basically all that I've changed is Weekly Preparation. And if I scroll down, I've got Update Depth Chart set to Assistant Coach. But really, I'll probably be the one going through and, you know, doing all that. Either way. We will be picking the Colts. You can see they're an 87 overall. Have a really potent offense, but the defense is atrocious. And that's one of the bigger issues with this team is that the defense is not set up for success. Um, you've really got to put a lot into defense. But the more you put into defense with this team the worst stuff is going to go for you because you're going to run out of money unless you sacrifice some people on offense. And I'll show you... Um, let me show you the uh, contract situation. So right now I've got $2.4 million, which, I mean, it's really not too bad when compared to some of the other teams. But, uh... Yeah, it's not horrible until you get like until you really get going in the franchise. But uh, we've got a rookie Jim Sorgi here, which is kind of funny. Um, we've got we've got Peyton Manning. 
Um, I'm going to show off the depth chart a little bit. So we have Peyton Manning, who at this point, I'm not sure how old he is exactly. I don't know if it'll show it on this. Um, date of birth was 1976. So, let's see here. I do... I think he's 28. I mean, he would be 28 here, I'm pretty sure. Which would make sense. Um, oh, and another difference between this and the uh, Cowboys franchise is look at the quality of this. This is being recorded, I mean, the, the recording's in like 1080p. But the quality of the game is being put in 4K, so it's upscaled pretty much as much as it could be. Um, I mean... <laughs> Looking at these right here and then his rookie year, Peyton's not looking like he was doing super great in these two years. But then this year he was great, this year he was pretty good, and this year he was great. So, I mean, he definitely was doing okay up to this point. He wasn't great at this point. But, I mean, he's... Okay, that wasn't exactly the best way to put it. He was great, he just doesn't have the stats to show for it. But, uh... We have Edron James, which is... A big issue, and I'm going to tell you why. Edrin James is a top halfback in this game. He plays, he's literally the best halfback I've ever used in this game, I'm not going to lie. And that's not just a Colts fan bias. He literally, he's fast. He can run people over. He can catch. He doesn't get too tired. I mean, like He literally plays the best out of a lot of the players I've ever used. But when you look at his contract... It's insane. And he's only got two years left on this contract. And his overall makes sense, because let me show you his stats. 1,200 yards. 900. 600. But then, like, there's receiving and stuff over here as well. But then, in the year 2000, he had over 2,000 yard all-purpose yards. Averaged 4.4 yards a carry. And had almost 600 receiving yards. That's insane. Five touchdowns, 13 touchdowns. His rookie year was insane as well. This man is a beast. So it makes sense that he'd be a beast in game. Now His production has dropped off a little bit. But it has picked back up at this point. Um, well, actually, his production really didn't drop off. He just was hurt. So he only played, like, what? A little over a third of the games. So, I mean, he was on pace to have another great year in 2001. And I guess he just didn't play. But then we've also got Dominique Rhodes, who, he's okay. He's a good kick returner, at the very least. But I like Dominique Rhodes. Um, I actually had a 1,000-yard season, and I believe this is the year that um, Edron was hurt. I could be wrong about that, though. But, I mean, he's proven that, I mean, clearly he had the ability to do really well. So, uh, there's no point in really getting rid of him, especially since we wouldn't make much money back. Um, got a decent fullback. I'm not even going to try to say the name. Uh, Marvin Harrison. We've got an old man Marvin Harrison who, pretty much no matter how he performs, and even though he's not going to regress overall-wise, I'm pretty sure, we just don't have the money to extend him, and that's just that's just the sad truth. Um, so if he's not performing up to expectations, he could very easily be moved at the trade deadline. Especially since there's no penalty or anything, a one-year deal, a one-year left on his deal. Even though he is one of the only 100 overall players in the game, it's just not really you know worth the money that we have to put into him. Um, especially since he's, at this point, he's, he's old. Um, I mean, at this point, that would make him 32, I think. Just the fact that he was even performing this well. I mean, 1,700 yards is insane. And this was when he was, what, 30? I, I could be getting the, uh, ages mixed up, but, you know. It is what it is. But then we've also got Reggie Wayne, who at this point was a good number two receiver. He, I mean, he hadn't taken over as the number one yet. But he's got some good stats for sure. Six feet tall, same as Marvin Harrison. 
Uh, we got Brandon Stokely, who's on a one-year deal as well. This this receiving core needs some uh, some depth pretty bad. And then we've got Marcus Pollard, Ben Hartsock, who's a rookie. Um, mainly seems to be like a blocker, I guess. And then we've got Dallas Clark, who's in his second year, but he's super fast for a tight end. And he can kind of catch. So he, he might be who I look to use more in this offense. Uh, Marcus Pollard, two years left on his deal. He's, I mean, he's your typical, you know, decent tight end who's not going to drop a pass, but he's not going to, you know, make any crazy plays, at least in game. Uh, Jeff Saturday, only six years pro. Five years left on his deal. You'll love to see it. Um... Offensive line-wise, we're pretty young here. Uh, this guy could definitely be ex extended to Demuling, I, I think is his name. Demuling, I have no idea. Now, what would it take to renegotiate with him? Yeah, he's... Yeah, it's... I would love to give him that contract, but we can't at least until the end of the year when the expiring contract money gets there. Um... Actually, some changes from what I'm used to, I'm pretty sure. I don't believe that Mark, or not Mark, I, I might even try to say that name. I don't think I've seen him before, so maybe this is a different roster. It's, it might just be like a like updated roster or something, I don't know. But uh, at tackle, we're looking great. We've got a good depth piece right there, only second year pro. Um, I mean, the, these are two great tackles. Uh, Tariq Glenn, he's kind of old, but he's not, you know, crazy old. Uh, defensive tackle, um, I mean, Monte Rager, uh, I believe this guy is the dad of Jalen Rager. I'm not sure. I think he is. Um... And Larry Triplett, who's only three years into his, um, well, technically this will be his fourth year. But you, you know what I mean. Uh, our defensive tackles really aren't great. Larry Triplett should hopefully be good at, you know, I guess, stuffing the run. And that's really, we don't have much of a pass rush from our defensive tackles, but you don't expect that. Um, but on the outside, we've got Raheem Brock and Dwight Freeney. That's a great pairing right here. Um, good pass rush. Um, doesn't really have great run coverage. Neither of them really do. But uh, we also have this guy. I believe is Scioli. I don't know. Brad Scioli. 76 overall. He might be someone I add to the trade block. I really don't know. Actually, yeah, I'm going to do that real quick. Place on trading block. Uh, let's go ahead and go back. Uh, outside linebackers. We've got David Thornton, Gary Brackett. Two great outside linebackers. Both pretty young. Not seeing anything too bad here. Pretty much everyone here is young. So, got good depth there. No issues there. Um, Rob Morris, he's okay. He's on the last year of his contract, though. Um, Jim Nelson, not not great. Really not great. Um, but here's the issue right here. Our cornerbacks. This is what makes the defense so bad, and you have to invest a lot into fixing this. Joseph Jefferson, second year. Um, yeah, second year. I think, yeah, this is just his second year. Um, he's a good overall, six foot one, two oh seven. Pretty good, decent coverage, really good speed. I mean, he he's what you want to be seeing out of your, you know, young corner, or as a young corner. Uh, Nick Harper just not gonna cut it though. He's only got two years left on his deal. I think this is the point where he starts to regress a little bit. He might go up in overall. Keep in mind, these people can go up in overall after I send to the regular season. But they can also get hurt. 
So you really just don't know, do you? Uh, Safety-wise, we've got Corey Bird, Mike Doss. But then the, the, the bad thing is, is that Mike Doss, only two years pro. But then we also have Bob Sanders, which wouldn't be an issue, but you can't change people's... Um, like, you can't change their position, which sucks because we could totally use the ability to uh, move Mike Doss over to free safety. That would make just so much sense for me. But it, it's just not, it's not something I can do. Uh, Bob Sanders, I mean, he's got that 93 speed. He's insanely fast. Um, I mean, uh, Mike Doss is a great run stopper with okay speed and can play pretty decent coverage. But Bob Sanders is going to cover more of the field, and I feel like that's why I would give him a shot over Mike Doss, along with the fact that even though he'd lose money, I think we could get a lot in return for Mike Doss. Um, so I might look to move on from Mike Doss in the next episode. Um, I don't really know though. And like I said, we've got uh, we we've, we've got I don't know if it's Idri or Idris Bashir. I'm just gonna call him Bashir. He's solid. He's definitely very solid. Four years pro, 86 speed. He's just He's your typical coverage safety. That, you know... He's your typical free safety, is what I should say. I mean, he'd be nice to bring back. But he just wants so much money that I don't think I can do it. I mean, this is a max length contract. I guess the more of that I make bonus... The more cap room I would have. I would be able to bring him back. But I don't I don't know if that's something I necessarily want to do. I feel like Anthony Floyd could easily step in his shoes and take over. I think I'll leave that as it is. But we've also got Mike Vanderjack, who great, great kicker. 99 kick power, 94 kick accuracy. I mean, he's given you basically maxed kick power. I mean, this is an insane kicker. He's not going to regress much over time. I mean, we've also got a good punter. Our special teams is pretty much set. I, there's no other way to put that. Our special teams is set. But uh, what are we what are we looking at in free agency? Um, definitely a lot of linebackers. I'm wondering, because there's quarterbacks, but I'm not really interested in a quarterback. Uh, I'm not really interested in halfbacks or fullbacks. What are the receivers looking like? Any young guys I could bring in? Not seeing anyone that really makes much sense from an age standpoint. Um, yeah, is not really anyone that makes much sense to bring in, so I'm not going to do that. Shannon Sharp is a free agent, but I'm just not going to do that. A good guard in free agency, but we don't really need offensive line all that bad. Um, Rating-wise, there's some really good guys in here that we could totally pick up as defensive ends, but again, we just don't need them. Uh, this guy... I mean, he, he'd make a good addition, but we just we don't have the money for these people. And I think that's the main issue, is that we just don't have the money to be bringing in guys of this caliber. Um, as corners go, I think maybe... There is a Sante Samuel here, but I don't think that he's the one that would make the most sense. I feel like, well, no, no, he's got better speed, though. And he's, he doesn't have the coverage, but he, he's going to cover more ground and he's not going to get burnt as easily. So let's go ahead and take a look at Asante Samuel, maybe number 22. Um, I guess like, he's cheap. 
I'm going to try to see if maybe I can make that less bonus. Offer him more money. There we go. So if I want to get rid of him, I can. If not, you know, I can keep him. That's just a decent strategy. You can see there's no kickers in here that are going to, you know, make me be like, oh, let's get rid of Vanderjack. It's just not going to happen. Also, sorry if you can hear the fan from my computer in the background. <laughs> just... Really not much I can do about that. But uh, we definitely needed, definitely, definitely, definitely needed a third corner. There's not much getting around that. Definitely something we needed. So let's go ahead and simulate the preseason. Now, we could come out of this with a ton of injuries, which would suck. But it's really probably the most likely to happen. And the sad part is, is that we're really probably going to come out of this with some secondary injuries as well. Which isn't what you want to have happen, I'm afraid. At least when you're the Colts. Some teams can deal with the secondary injuries. This team, I'm afraid, is like the real-life Colts. The starting bunch looks okay, and then... One of them gets hurt, and then everything else is weak. And apparently we just went 0-4 in the preseason. That's, that's not good. Let's go ahead and start the season. Let's go ahead and take a look at ESPN. See what the injury report looks like. What did I tell you? Now at least, this guy, he's not going to make much of a difference. So we don't have to worry about that. Well, only one injury, that's pretty good. Um, we're last in power rankings, but that'll change, hopefully. Um, so let's go see how our guys progressed. So Jim Sorgi didn't change any overall, like at all. Um, Edron James, pretty much everyone stayed the same, I'm going to guess. Looking like it, looks like everyone stayed the same. We're going to move Dallas Clark up to tight end one. Uh, I think Terry... Or Terry, Tariq Glenn might have gone up some a little bit. Um, I think that's really about it for the offense. Uh, defense didn't change. Um, and not much really changed there. Um, so Joseph Jefferson is playing. I'm going to move Asante Samuel to be back up for both corner slots. Uh, Bob Sanders is hurt, but he's probably going to play, and it doesn't look like his stats really went down much. So I am going to play him. Um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and play him. I mean, he's just he's so fast, his coverage is about as good as... His run coverage, not really, but the more he progresses, the better he'll get. Um, I don't think really anything changed, to tell you the truth. Dominique Rhodes is our kick returner. Um, makes that, that to be a punt returner as well, and I think, I think Harrison Smith might have, or not Harrison Smith, what's his name, Hunter Smith? Yeah. He went up, I think maybe one overall. I don't Thinking many people would go up and overall with our uh, preseason performance. Now let me see if I go to front office trade block. See if I have any offers. Yeah, okay, we don't. Let me actually remove him. I want to see what we could get possibly out of Mike Doss. I want to find a team that needs him, such as the Falcons. So we could get up to a second round draft pick for Mike Doss. Or we could go for a player. And if we did that, it would probably have to be like a corner or something. So if I found another team that really needs him, such as the Lions, I didn't figure that would work. Um, just trying to find out, like, who all could use him. Maybe the Bears? 
Charles Tillman, Suma. Yeah, see, it's just not many corners out there that really can trade for that would make much sense. I mean, Quentin Jammer would be okay. He's already four years... Oh, wait, oh, wait, hold on. Okay, no, he's three years pro so far. We could probably get him, and could we bring in, like, a lower overall... I don't really have a lower overall receiver that they can give up, do they? What, what kind of picks could they send? So Quentin Jammer, maybe a fourth-round pick for this year and next year. That would probably get accepted. Now you got to think about it this way. I don't plan on starting Mike Dawes. And Quentin Jammer, three years pro, we could get a couple of pretty much guaranteed to be high fourth round draft picks. I think this would be a good trade. Just to start off with, I don't plan on making trades like this, you know, every every episode or every even every season. Well, like I said, Marvin Harrison's on the chopping block, too, obviously. And we can definitely get a lot in return for him. Because we also we need money, especially after we lose some money trading away Mike Dawes. Um, we definitely need money to be able to afford... Well, and we're taking on the salary for Quentin Jammer as well. So we, we're going to be down to, like, 600k, which isn't going to be too fun. But uh, it is what it is right there. Um, but trading away Marvin Harrison would mean I'd be able to afford to extend, um, what's his face? <laughs> Edron James. Because Edron James is your typical franchise halfback. You're not going to be, well, I wouldn't even say typical because halfbacks are pretty replaceable in real life. But Edron James plays very, very well in this game. That's just not even much of a debatable topic. So I think we can we can deal with the loss of money right now. And I think Bob Sanders is our future at strong safety. So I think, especially since we also would have a capable backup that's about the same overall as Bob Sanders. Not quite, but going to be there close to that overall. But I think picking up a somewhat young corner and a couple of pretty good picks, one for this year and one for next year, in exchange for someone who we're going to have as a backup but would have some pretty high value for another team, such as the Chargers, who, I mean, you can see their, their strong safety isn't exactly looking too great there. I mean, he is pretty fast and he's not very old. But, I mean, you got to think Mike Doss is just as, or has the same amount of, like, experience, so they're probably pretty close in age, and who knows? You know, Mike Doss could be the same age. You never know. So I think this, especially since they have the cap room to uh, extend his contract if they want to, I think this works for both sides. I'm going to go for it. They don't want to trade a corner right now. I'll, I'll add in someone else. Um, we, we probably don't need, we, I don't know, whose contract would we, I'm thinking Hutchins makes the most sense to get rid of, and now they'd have too many players. Well, we can, we can work this out, so they can have him. Right, but then they, they have too many players. So adding in Hutchins makes it go down. So what if we what if we add in the other guy? Like uh No? Still goes down. Oh well well Or maybe it's because they have too many players on the roster. Um See, because then it goes up when we add someone they don't really care about. So, how about you send over, I don't know, like, whoa, 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 hear me out, hear me out. They send him, what about, 
a third round draft pick. Well, actually, for next year and for next year to make it more fair. Well, no, 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 never mind, never mind. Let's let's do let, let's do a third round draft pick and just see what they say, and then we'll send over Mike Doss and um and Strickland or not Strickland and we'll send over Hutchinson along with so we're getting a third round pick this year we'll add in we'll add a fourth round draft pick for next year that makes it a little bit more fair both teams gain a couple of players one of which will just get cut we're just trying to make sure that they, you know, can actually do the trade. And then we send them a pick next year for a slightly better pick this year. I think this is pretty fair. A good secondary player for a slightly worse secondary player. And then you, you basically trade a couple of just crap players just to make sure that everything stays even, like, you know, player limit-wise. And then I trade them a slightly worse pick for their slightly better pick to make up for the slightly better player that I'm giving now. It makes sense. So I'm going to go with this. Trade has been accepted. We're probably low on cap space now. Yeah, really low. But luckily, like I said, I don't need this guy. At least a free agency. We were one over the limit anyways. Um, we really don't need Brian Allen. So we're going to release him. Um, we also really don't need Corey Sauter make more money than we they're just releasing him and he really were so let me go ahead and get rid of him so now we're down to 51 players um any other like pretty useless players we could get rid of um maybe an outside linebacker Maybe Kendall Pope. Um, let's go ahead and get rid of June. He's just slightly older, so it just makes a little bit more sense. And then uh, I think apart from that, maybe tackles. We could get rid of this guy. At least a free agency. Um, I think apart from that, we're looking pretty good. You don't have an unnecessary amount of players. Tom Arth is literally the lowest overall player in the game, by the way. <laughs> Which kind of sucks, because <laughs> look at his contract. We can't get rid of him for like another couple of years. And we're just stuck with the worst player in the game. And he's just not going to progress. So I really don't know what all to do with him. I mean, his accuracy is slightly better than, um, Sorgi. But I mean, well, really, he's not. I don't know why his overall is so low. Maybe it's his arm strength. So he, he'd be a check down master is really what he'd probably be. He's also injury prone, it looks like. But, uh, yeah, I think that's where I'm going to have to leave off for this episode. Uh, let me see. I think... Well, hold on, left corner. I don't really know who would play in the slot in that situation. But I'm actually going to move Quentin Jammer up to there. Sunday Samuel can be there. And then, uh... Oh, wait, wait, that's not what I meant to do. Hold on. Sante Samuel goes there. Nick Harper goes there. There we go. That's how I wanted it. So, that's where I'm going to have to leave off this episode, though. Um, I do have some more Minecraft episodes that will be up pretty soon. Maybe within the next day or so. Um, they were getting a lot of, you know, positive... You know feedback and stuff like that and uh so i was recording more but then it just kind of 
slowly died down and I didn't want to just keep uploading the same thing over and over again so I figured I'd have something new to put in between at least for now uh, oh I never showed you the settings for this by the way you can see here they are so the pass blocking and passing low human running though I'll nerf down to about there I would say Everything else, though, is base legend stats. And then, uh, got injury on base, fumble on base, interception slightly turned down. Don't get me wrong, though. This is just, this nerfs it for both sides, so it's kind of in between. Um, so that's, that's that, I would say. So that's going to be it for this episode, though. I'm going to go ahead and save as hold on see this is how do I hold on there you go you two one there go. I think it had to be three characters long or wrong yeah three characters long I could be wrong about that though but uh yeah that's where I'm gonna leave this episode for like the 45th time uh, I hope you all did enjoy um see you in the next one peace